Okay, put your sheep ears on. Everybody put your sheep ears on. <laughs> It's Miss Jo Lynn bringing you your chapel for today. Do you know Sunday is a special day? It's Mother's Day and that's a day where we get to celebrate our, our moms and, and tell them just how much we love them and appreciate them for everything that they do for us. Have you ever thought about all the things that your mom has taught you? Your mom has been by your side teaching you and guiding you from day one. She taught you how to roll over and how to sit up, how to crawl and how to walk and how to talk and how to play, and that's just the beginning. I bet she's taught you a thing or two about shoes. I'm sure she said, wear your shoes outside. It keeps your feet clean and it uh, keeps your feet safe from sharp things that you might step on. and keeps your toes from getting stubbed if you run into something hard. Your mom may have even said something about what shoes you should wear for certain activities. Like if you were going to dance class, you wouldn't wear soccer cleats, would you? That'd be silly. And if you were playing a game of football, you wouldn't put on, put on uh, tap shoes. And how about tying your shoes? I bet some of you are learning how to do that. When I was about four years old, my mom taught me how to tie shoes, and she explained it step by step, how to do each part of tying shoes. You know, nowadays I tie shoes without even thinking about it, but I, when I was learning, I didn't get it right away, and my mom was really patient with me. She explained it step by step, and she gave me encouragement and support, and she kept saying, you can do it, you can do it. And you know what? I did learn how to tie my shoes. See? Perfectly tied shoes. Now moms are always teaching us and caring for us. They started before we were born and they'll never stop. Even when you're a grown up and you have kids of your own, you'll be relying on your mom for advice on how to be a good parent yourself. Now, I'm a mom and I have kids and now my kids have kids so I'm a grandma. But I still find myself calling my mom on the phone and asking her a question on how to do something or ask her advice on a particular situation. And she always replies in a loving and encouraging and supporting way. Now this Sunday, I want you to be, make an extra effort to give your mom a great big hug and tell her thank you for all the things that she's taught you how to do. Tell her how much you love her and how much you appreciate everything she does for you. And always remember to follow her advice and the, instruct the instructions that she's given you. That's the best way to honor your mom. Uh, boys and girls, continue to check that website uh, for updates of new videos you could watch or activities that are being presented for you. You might find a few surprises here and there. And boys and girls, that's all for today. And God bless you and keep you until we see you again. And hallelujah.
Hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, praise ye the Lord.